there. Yeah. Because we preloaded some stuff, but it doesn't come through when oh. we use this stuff. Okay. Good to know. Address that on HR. We're back in the main session. We got to watch our language now. I know. <laughs> well, there was a lot we... of cussing and discussing going on in the finance committee. Well, you should Is everybody here. Market? Did anybody get killed? <laughs> You should have heard things in the marketing committee. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to welcome everyone back. I want to be very respectful of your time today. And so um, I um, think we should come back and just have some, some kind of closing thoughts, share um, if you feel like you're on a pretty good track or not, and then how you're going to get things finished. So I guess the first thing is, does anybody have um, any questions, concerns, comments about this process and what you um, and what we just went through? Did something not make sense? Are you concerned about something? I know that the internal um, committee, they kind of had something that they were concerned about, and we'll, we'll talk about that, but anything else? Oh. Just what we mentioned to you, Dana, um, I think that Mike and Ty and I can work the finance side with something that's constructive. <clears throat> Certainly, we'll still need a lot of input and eyes on it. Um, and I think we can do it on the equipment and financing. I want to visit with Roger a little bit about some discretionary versus non-discretionary items, get a little bit of help there. But um, we just didn't even uh, attack the HR part. We don't feel like we're uh, have the, the, the institutional knowledge or the skills to address that part of, of the deal. Okay. And then kind of our question is the path forward. Once we fill these things out, what do we do with them? <laughs> well, let me tell you the absolute worst thing you can do with them. And that's to just let them sit in a book or sit on the computer and not do anything with it. So I was telling Caroline about this. Once we get this done, um, and I'll talk about that in just a second, but once we feel like we've made pretty good progress on getting all of these plans put together, I'll go ahead and recombine them into one document that will be, literally, that will be your sustainability plan. What, um, but to make sure that you stay on point and to make sure that you um, are staying on top of it, um, the last thing that I will create is, is a dashboard. And I'll work with Katie and probably a few more of you to get that dashboard um, put together. And that is something you're going to look at every single board meeting. Um, and so we'll create, so you will know here's what your goal is and here's what we accomplished. So um, I know that Joe, you talked a little bit about what 12 and 12 does, where you get a, a statement at every board meeting that says, here we are with our financials. Um, so you're going to start seeing that at every board meeting is um, how much progress have we made? Um, and if you haven't made progress, why haven't you made progress? Maybe there's something blocking your progress and that's something that needs to be discussed. So having those, um, having that dashboard that you look at every time you meet as a group is going to be very important. Dana, I'd like to just volunteer some more of my time because um, I think this is going to create a lot of extra work for Caroline. Yeah. Just, I, you know, I, that's just my feeling. And I'd be available to, to come in and help do whatever I needed to do to help facilitate any of this. I love that. Thank you so much, Jeff. I think, did yeah. anybody actually get their plan done? Does everybody, does, is there anybody who feels like it looks pretty good and you're ready to go? We got one goal of our plan. Woo! Okay. I felt pretty good about that. <laughs> I know. I mean, you got to celebrate those things. So here's, here's what I'm going to encourage you to do is that individually in those committees, you guys need to get back together and try to find another time to meet. And I will stay on top of that. I'll probably work with Katie and maybe Roger to stay on top of that and make sure that you are meeting, that you know what you're doing. If I need to jump in there and help, I can do that. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of times, it, you know, this, this is probably going to take more than an hour or 45 minutes or whatever you had down. So um, I'm going to encourage you to have that done. What we also need to, to do, though, is set a deadline for that. So, um, and, and that deadline could be a week, that deadline could be a month, that deadline could be 
two months, whatever you guys as a group feel like is realistic for everybody to get that plan done so we can take it to the next step. Okay. And that might be, and if you want to talk about that here now, we can set a deadline now. If that's something you want to kind of think about and talk to each other about, we can do that as well. We'll have ours done in a week. Okay. But not HR. <laughs> okay. Bob, I think we could have ours finished by the board, by next board meeting. Yeah, and which is when? Uh, next Thursday. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'll keep trudging along and just send it to you and you can make any yeah. changes. Yeah, How about that? Yeah, get Jeff involved too. Uh, Jeff and David, uh, you want to commit with me to get ours done by next board meeting? Sure. sure. Just send out some uh, a calendar invite with some days or times for a conference call. Okay, that, that works. And, the, and the, the good thing about these Google Docs is that you can get in there. If you find yourself with the time, energy, and desire to get in there and kind of play with it and work on it, go right ahead. Um, it's not something that you have to just be working on while you're together. Um, but, um, and you, maybe you highlight it in a different color or something or say, you know, here are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead, you know, you can do those things and it's not time bound. So. I, I'd like to, I, I cut somebody off who was just going to speak. Go ahead. I'd like to propose that um, we look at special meetings for the next couple months and not try to shoehorn a little bit of this into each board meeting that we have, that we continue to have our board meetings. We might do a little checkup on these but we've got a lot of big picture things to fill in. And I think it's going to take us dedicated, you know, specific dedicated time. So that means to me, an extra two hour meeting for a couple of months um, with our board and, and going over this and, and actually putting it into uh, a workable plan. And um, Dana, I don't know if, if you have the time uh, to do it, but maybe uh, being part of the first or the first two meetings or whatever, uh, just to make sure that we're pedaling in the right direction <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and living up to uh, what, we've, uh, what we've put our, the path we've put ourselves on. So. And I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, you know, you guys, I mean, the, the, the expert is on the screen right now. You guys all have different areas of expertise that you're bringing to the table. And so I have no doubt that once you kind of get a structure, I think you guys can, can go for it. But I am more than happy to step in to sort of just guide things or um, be able to create, uh, offer feedback on what other nonprofits do or what um, best, you know, quote unquote, best practices are. So okay. have more than happy to do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna pile on, uh, there's so much ahead of us, but I don't think we should wind down without at least putting our, our hands on the elephant in the room uh, again. And that is, uh, Dancing with the Stars. Um, I, I'm wondering if there shouldn't be a, either a subset or the full board um, uh, a meeting uh, to get that uh, thought out, vetted, and have an alternative plan if we don't have Dancing with the Stars, something. Mm -hmm. We've just got to address it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I know Caroline will sleep better <laughs> if, if it's at least addressed. And uh, we all need to know that it's too big a piece of our of our near future uh, to to just let it slide. So I don't know. We got we're talking about meeting after meeting here. We can't can't whip our board into exhaustion, but uh, that really needs to be addressed. Uh, and and I don't know what the timeline is when the get on or get off date is for that. But even if it's a get off, we need to have something behind it, which is kind of what. Uh, Caroline and I have just been talking about, about how we're going to ramp up the non-dancing money, but. Dancing with the stars typically starts ramping, I mean, start being worked on in February. <laughs> I, I know, I know it does, but is there. So it's just, um, so yeah, and, and may, maybe our first, um, you know, may, maybe that's our board meeting next week. Maybe yeah. we do some very quick housekeeping 
and go straight into Dancing with the Stars. Good. What I can, if that's what you want to do, I can get some, um, a timeline of yes. when certain yes. deposits and things would be required, what kind of things we'd be looking at from an expense standpoint, and then, right. um, and so that we can. Right. And I, I think all of us need to be thinking in terms of alternatives to that when we show up to that meeting, because right. it, it may or may not be Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. I, my strong bias is I want to see what Caroline and Bobby come up with as an alternative. I, I just don't, I don't think Dancing with the Stars is feasible next year. There isn't I, one, I think, yeah. other than the promise of a vaccine, uh -huh. every statistic is worse. Mm -hmm. Everything, exponentially. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to get better in the timeline, mm -hmm. Caroline, with which you need to write checks. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that we do know we've been blessed by, and you know, we can refer to it as the unabet, but to me, the newsletter, I'm just going to call it the newsletter that you sent out uh, and worked so hard on to just give people an honest assessment of where we were at, and the mm -hmm. challenges that we had. We do know we have a lot of individuals, and the last two months have blown me away. Uh, the number of participants, the number of gifts that have been given was far more than I could, any of us, I think, could imagine. And you need good, you need to share those with the board in terms of numbers. One Our thing. individuals will stay with us. Right. They will. And we owe them a safer, a safer route uh, this next year. There's more to learn. Um, all to me, it's far more worse than it was even in March when we made the decision a year ago. There isn't yeah. one thing that we can overcome that, that looks better other than an outlook for a vaccine. And I just don't think, I don't think we can do it this next year. Yeah. Well, there and I'd like to invite more than just Caroline and Bob to come up with ideas for what we can do for fundraising. Yeah. Um, I, I, I know that that's their bailiwick, but I think we can all put our brains to it. I'll tell you the number of individuals that stepped up uh, in November and December and even January has just blown me away. Yeah, it's been it's been very humbling to see um, how those folks have turned out. They will be there. So what's the, what's the what's the best way to keep them hooked as we move into next year? But I don't think they're going anywhere. Yeah, and I, you know I think it's important we point out too that and Caroline both uh, would like to mention you know, Mike Trey Montana on our advisory board yes. went far far above and beyond, and uh, there is a lot of people that gave that. Well, there was people that had never given and they were large amounts. And so he, uh, if you run into Mike uh, occasionally when you're out there out and about, uh, he re give him a big pat on the back. He's done a terrific job. He has. Yes. Well, He's opened he, some great he doors. called me about 15 minutes ago on the phone. I told him I'd call him after this meeting, but he's, he's a very engaged guy and he has done a lot of good for a lot of people, especially yes. recently. So, yeah. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. When you're talking with him, Ask him if he's still comfortable with us leaving the rest of the, uh, what we'd targeted to remove out of the endowment, put in the cash. I haven't talked to him in a couple of days, but uh, see if he has any change of heart on that. I'll do it. Okay. Well. But I don't think the dance, I'll just tell you right now, I don't think the dance is feasible next year. I don't. Okay. Well, and you know, maybe it'll just be turned into something like a, a jigging with the asteroids instead of dancing with the stars. So, there's, I mean, there's, there's always great opportunities that, that come out of things like this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to learn how to be less dependent upon one event. We've learned we have a lot of loyal individuals who love what we do. And those are really good things that have been, the spotlight has been shined on. All right. Well, I want to be respectful of your time again. And so it is noon. And if somebody's got to jump off and, and go do something else, then please feel free to do that. I did want to wrap up with saying that um, the poll that I took as far as your authentic passion, I felt really encouraged by what you, um, how you guys answered that. Um, you know, most of the answers were that, yes, you truly do have authentic passion for what San Miguel is doing. And I felt what was, what was even more encouraging, just as encouraging to me, were the number of you who said, I am very passionate about it. And if you give me a work plan, I'll do it. 
Um, and so I think maybe there have been some people who are like, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to get to work, but I, I, I got to know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. And that's going to, that's going to, um, that's going to result in that sustainability plan. And